Say an actual sentence. Potato with a potato with a tomato with a rotto. Gotta go down like a motto. Gonna do this like a hotto. Wanna go back in the floor until I feel like I'm a drain. I'm making nothing. Get no more. No more. I feel like I'm about to drink. I gotta drink it. the classy I feel like I'm just a shake. Potato. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's okay to die TV here. I'm finally coming at you guys with the fucking Twitch World World Tour. And I'm here today with Snipes. What's up, guys? And well, well no! Where's Volkly lost? Eric? You call me my potato lord? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead oh, and introduce sorry. yourself. I'm not for the occasion. Hello, I'm vocally lost. Gaming on YouTube, vocally lost. I just got. To... Wait, what? Vocally lost. Vo... Uh, sorry, I had a seizure. Vocally underscore lost on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, pal. Alright, well to continue on with the video, we're going to start this tour in the community area of our small little realm. We only currently have four dedicated members with almost ten non-dedicated members that just come on and build randomly. But we'll be showcasing everyone's build today. And this right here is the community area. The purpose of this area is so that when new members come onto the world, they can basically have an easy way of starting off. They have chests to put stuff in for storage that they can label. We have furnaces to use, beds to sleep in, you know, the luxury of warmth and a table to eat at, and some seats around the area to chill. But to continue out to the area, we're going to start with the, one of the first ever builds on this world coming on our right-hand side here. This was the first house that I have built, and I built it with its vibes. Unfortunately, he's in school and can't answer right now but we're gonna start off the tour with this house now right outside we have a furnace room over here I built we got storage for the, for the furnace room our original kitchen the original lavatory even with uh, nether warts farm built in and the wonky storage room I built because I just kept expanding because I needed more space so I made each one bigger instead of keeping the same length style for each one or redoing them or any of that bullshit then we have vibes room as you see he's been tear to oh and we have dancing uh, army stands eric wanna go dance in the back <laughs> <laughs> right here is an auto kelp farm that doesn't work uh work anymore because of the current patch that came out yesterday so, I, I don't, don't know what we're going to read patch notes to read everything they did, but that's one of the things they did because that does not long, no longer work. As you can see, Vibes was building something very nice here, but I ended up moving and he was uh, just getting tired of the project. It was kind of just like, huh, it's too much resource to do it right now. We're not that far ahead. This was uh, Bothered Blood's room, but it's closed off because, and this is my old room. It's closed off because he doesn't really play. And it was just taking up space that we needed for other plans that we canceled. But this is my personal storage. So, this house will probably be handed down to the next uh, dedicated member that doesn't have a home. That would like to run a home. But we come out to the backyard. There used to be a lot of trees back here. There's some type of auto sugarcane thing. And to be honest, this is definitely not one of the best builds on the server at, by, at all. Like, it's probably one of the worst. And to be honest, it looked a lot nicer when we lived in there. And now it's all, like, ripped up because we kind of just come there and grab shit. And also, shout out to 2D for the Twitch sign. Appreciate it, homie. There we have the Twitch symbol over there. And as far distance, we'll tour that later. But we're going to exit through the backyard. And we're going to hit the where it used to be right here was a farmhouse. I took it out to build my new farm area. And released animals over here was a holding pens for horses and dogs, but now there's an actual stable that vibes built So he has three horses in here right now Now hmm, where should we go from here? I'm just gonna tour the rest of the town, but over there in the far distance That's a broken cow farm, but we're gonna is it's Lux house shot that it's Lux unfortunately gonna be here either but this, but he's on Twitch and YouTube. Search him up. I'll have his link in the description. But this is his little house, and we do have a, and we do have a custom texture pack. All our stuff is pretty much customized, thanks to uh, you know, vocally lost over here. You gotta change your gamer tag. 
I, I know I have to change it. This account's old as hell now. <laughs> I'll go to the secondary build of the uh, world, and that's the fishing house, which has been turned into an auto fish house, pretty much. Auto fisher area. Oh, fucking bamboo. Nothing special, really. D this is kind of just like the starter builds of the world, to be honest. This really showcases our starter area. This was Bork's house. We're not even going to tour it. He's not a part of the world anymore. It's nothing really built down there. It's just a bunch of like empty space that was mined out. Something that probably would look nice. An enchantment. And down there, it's just a mine. Nothing special. But to continue down this road, we're going to take a nice little right over here. And we got the trash compactor system. You know, you just throw all your trash in here. And this all just goes away. Take a right down here, down this tunnel. So over here, I started building a greenhouse system when I had my house over here. But I recently started building another greenhouse area. And I'm letting um, guys who live over here work off of this one and use it. And they want to they expand it. But basically, I always build giant uh, greenhouses. And usually they're bigger than this, but that's as big as I want it. They both just sit that up the same way, just with different crops. And right here is bisexual pandas land. Uh, I don't kind, I don't really exactly know what he's doing over here because he hasn't been on lately. But he was starting to build like a village, he said. And as you can see, he just like started building like a whole like farm land. And he has a house over here too. Yeah, so far we have played almost 29, 30 days on Twitch on this world, but I've played a lot of, like, off-stream time. But this is his current build right here, his house, and it, it's turning out really nice, and, you know, I, I can't wait for him to finish Ooh. it. I talked to him last night. Yeah, Eric probably just lagged out. <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> we better hurry up. I'm back. I need to. But I really like how this guy's his house is turning out, bro. It's getting, it's turning really nice. You guys gotta follow me around for the tour, though. We lost you. Yeah, I would like you guys <laughs> to see everything that's been built. Help you get inspiration for your guys' builds. All right, so the next person we will be touring. So I'll be uh, shutting up for a couple minutes to let Volky, vocally lost, take the stand once I get up to that little bridge. But he'll be taking the stand and we'll be touring his base and his surroundings. And we like the beautiful bridge and see a sky base. Soon we'll be seeing the potato man himself appear at the bridge. Or fall from the sky, maybe? Maybe. Uh -uh. <laughs> As a uh, splattered. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I done lost my brain matter. <laughs> Alright, starting off though. We got my newest build, which is a uh, starter island. It's probably where I'm going to be setting my spawn at some point. But I plan on building a bunch of these around the server so that we can just use these as elytra points. It's got a little water elevator going up to it, and you can also see a area. I started clearing out behind it over here. There's going to be a huge area. But if we go up here, you can just get a good look down area. I, I my, flew up uh, to your castle. thing. Oh, you fast son of a bitch. No, that's what I did when I first found it. Oh, okay. God, Eric, you're trying to drown someone on their way up? <laughs> it got a little bit broken, okay? But, I didn't uh... my <laughs> Oh, God. Alright, you can jump in the river down here. You'll be fine. But, um, if you look over here, you can see just how big the castle is. I don't know if your render distance is oh, high, shit. but... Oh, my. Yeah, you can just see how big it is. And then, uh, alright, Snipes, jump in the river. <laughs> I'll meet you down here. Oh, I don't, I'm not good at using a, a, light, a light zone controller. I might just do what you just did. <laughs> oh, God. You just gotta remember to spin and not, like, That's walk it into the ground like me. Oh, my God, that was fucking funny. Your potato yeah. obsession. <laughs> alright, so, uh, next thing is... This is just my little villager area. So, we got quite a few villagers that have mending. This is Rob. He's got mending on him and some other stuff. You guys want to look at him real quick? Oh, he's going back to sleep. Alright, let's leave Rob alone. But we got Rob, we got Fred, and these are all just like basic mending and you other stuff. All the like, villagers. this is. Yes, I did. This one's Mary. Mary actually has efficiency 5, but I gotta make the prices cheaper because they are 
<laughs> ridiculous right now. So, and then so what, here, what are you gonna do? You gonna sleep with her? Oh, uh, how'd you know? But uh, Becky over here sells Sharpness Five. Uh, I got the prices down a little bit. She's a little bit freaky in bed though. So, so I don't know if I want to keep doing that. <laughs> Eric. So why you get this straight? You capture villagers and use them for a purpose of trading, bro. You blow them to get the prices down, and name them, and keep them basically as pets. Basically. Okay, but if we go inside the base, the first thing we're <laughs> we are met with is my potion farm. Which, uh, if you want to look in these chests right here, you can see just how efficient that it, it is. Oh, I actually heard that this got patched. It as of be. last it's night. Not really a glitch. Well, actually, no. It still works because uh, these filled up. I emptied these yeah. earlier. That's what I'm saying. I don't but, think um, it is. Yeah, but we got two fire res, four swiftness, one uh, strength, and then one instant health too. And then all these chests are just filled up to show you how much, how well it works. I need to make more, uh, uh, what's it called, more bottles. And then uh, if we come up the stairs, there's not much done up here just yet. There's a decent little bit. We have two beacons in each of the towers over here. And then we have the world map so far. So this is where we started out and then came up so far and now we're at the oh castle. Oh god, this looks nice. Yeah, I'm slowly upgrading it. Alright, but uh, if we go back downstairs now. Oh wow. Oh yeah, you see your base? <laughs> yeah, I was I like, oh. I'm trying to see what my base is. Wait, where's mine? I think mine, is that mine right there? I, think that's mine right I don't there. think yours is on there just yet. I, I have to make this higher. Alright, but uh, oh, yeah. if we go back, but if we make this, uh, or if Pretty we go cool. back down here, and over to the left this time, we have fucking Packy Boy, which is my mule. Packy Boy. This actually shows off another thing with the texture pack, is that mules are cracked out of their mind. Look him <laughs> in the eyes. Look him in the eyes. <laughs> what did you give him? He's on crack cocaine. Yes. All right, uh, another, this is my uh, cousin's room, Big Ben Testament on uh, Twitch, if you guys want to follow him. And then this is just basically his room. He really hasn't done much at all. It's very sad. Yeah. He's really <laughs> admiring the base, Eric. You should, it looks like he's got some markers under his bed. Better be careful. They're red. <laughs> Alright, but now if we come over here to the right side, we have the auto smelter and also my room. So, basically this is also a XP farm along with everything. So the way you use this XP farm is you uh, flip this lever down, throw something in this chest up here to start smelting, and then as soon as the item uh, pops in a furnace, just take it out, and then that'll give you XP, and then just flip that back up. And then everything that gets smelted comes down in this chest right here. And then uh, this switch is just to make it so that when you open this trap door, this is where you throw coal and anything that's like sm uh, used as fuel. You just throw that down there, flip this switch, and then it'll start feeding through the redstone system into the furnaces and then we got my room I got some paintings and then we got my little room it's pretty much the same as his except for uh, we're actually gonna go downstairs this time what the fuck <laughs> now is when we go into the lab uh, I'll try to figure out it won't start to get okay, interesting okay. oh what the fuck you gotta stay on one side you gotta stay on one of the sides and then try yep, there me. you go <laughs> And then we come down into the lab, which basically I'm still working on it, but this is supposed to be a Axola Aquarium, but it despawned. We got my little doggo over here. Oh yeah, there's like a little glitch with the Axolotls despawning, that's why mine's in a frame. Yeah, you're smart. I wish I would've fucking kept mine. I did however just find another one, but uh, we got the Jeb Sheep over here, his beautifulness. And then we got Joe. This is just fucking Joe. Is Joe great? <laughs> yes, he's very great. <laughs> all, right. all right, now if we come all the way back over to here, this is my uh, newest machine. This is actually the uh, uh, the sugarcane farm. So if you come over here, you can see what it has and stuff. And actually, you can see another part of the texture pack if you uh, back up and flip one of these levers. Oh, yeah, the wine cards. No, 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 flip, flip the lever. You'll see the new part of the update. You not see it yet? No. That, wait, did I flip the right one? Is, that, is it the shit dropping from the ceiling? Alright, alright, back, back up, back up. Look, the this fucking is just shulker part of boxes, it. bro. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the iron trapdoors are glass now. That's not oh, yeah, I've seen that. That's trapdoors. Also, so this is where you fill in all the bone meal that we get. Mine's currently empty, so it's got a switch right here so you can turn it on and off so that if you break the shulker box, it doesn't get collected into the system and back it up. And then this works extremely well, so if you guys follow me down here this time, 
I'll show you just how well it works, and I've actually emptied it since yesterday. Oh, wow, so dark. just open this middle chest and this bottom chest. Uh, thank you, Eric. <laughs> you can take some if you need it. I actually have to, if you want to take as much <laughs> of this as you would love. I need to empty it, but I've... <laughs> I would take, if I, I had a shulker box pages. on me, I would take all of it because I need it for my library. Alright, uh, here, alright, come back up here and I'll show you what fuels this system. Well, first off, right next to this we have four dripstone farms, and it seems to work. Wait, wait, we got a bit what? of dripstone farms so far. Oh yeah. god, Eric, what, what's, go what's going on down here? <laughs> and then we have the, uh, this is the bone meal farm, so check these shulkers and then these front chests. Wow. Holy oh, shit! Just to give you guys... You, you're just easy. mass producing, cooking up in the kitchen here. Yes. Yes, I, I am. into your house a lot when you're offline. Yeah. Alright, so also be careful, but, um, don't touch these chains, but we also have our own end portal. How? Magic. This is actually where I'm going to have the visitor entrance pretty soon to it. I just got the danger to keep out for now. But if we go over here, we actually have... But, um, yeah, so this is just basically the back of the castle, which you can actually see more of my claims, uh stone pillar things. Yo, yo, Just to nice. see how big this area is. Want to help me destroy those real quick? Hey, hey, what you doing? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man. We're gonna come into the city from a side point right here. This was something I think Trudy was working on, but it's basically another biome concept, and I think it's fucking sick. This would be a sick biome if it was actually real. But, oh, but oh he's God. doing a pretty cool job on making a biome concept. If you come over here behind the well, in, where basically where we stopped the tour over in this area, we're gonna start it over there now. And why is that many kelp blocks just sitting there? The massive Twitch sign. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, I love this. This is my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the world, out of what the community has built. The Twitch sign. Mm, Whose house go. this is, but this is someone's house. It's a little simple design. This is why people need to label their shit. I'm just like, no, Eric, not not gonna keep- like, Over oh, here, actually, me, me and here Vibes right went half on half on building the temple area for this little water fountain, basically. Our, our world does have, like, a theme, like, it's more of, like, temples, castles, and it's, like, wood designs. But if anyone can guess what the four fucking glass uh, colors are, let me know in the comments. Here is the, what's called, nether portal temple. As you can see, they are now disco lights. Oont, 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 oont. What, 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 what? Ow. This <laughs> get burned. And if you follow me over here, we have the encased to dragon egg from our fight with the dragon. Ooh. Our display for the town. Everyone get a good look at it. And over there, I think it's Toon, one of Toon's builds, or Lux's uh, cousin, or whatever his build friend. This trail over here, we're going to start to explore over to my builds and stuff like that. Which, I no offense, I should have got one and did snipes first, but fuck. Looks like we're doing the mine. So I started my new greenhouse, and I primarily started with uh, sugarcane. It's kind of why I robbed Eric. It's because uh, I need lots of sugarcane, and you'll see once we get to my actual house. One thing I can tell you that will make this a lot more fast, add half slabs at the top of these blocks where the water is because it won't delete the water and then it also makes it so you don't have to keep diving down in the water whenever you break something well how that works and once it grows up you can just run straight across and break it like the second thing right here is a museum project i have started working on i have not even considered finishing fully yet just because it's the last thing i want to worry about kind of got into this big house project <laughs> Over here is one of my sh one of my shops. We have shops around the world. Um, I took inspiration for making the shops from Fallout 76 because in Fallout 76, around your base, you can place a shop and sell things to our players while offline. And I thought this would be a good way to actually make a currency. And I have it simply set up to where yeah, I put the item in the item frame. You take it out, you inspect it, you look at it, and the price is up there. Well, I mean, the item name is up there, and the price is right there. You put the you know the payment in here. And then what if there's extra back stock of the item will be in there too and you just take it up hand. You can sell a fucking potato at my shop, I don't care, Eric. I, I only and one of my books did get stolen. It was a Frostwalker one. 
but we do have a st we did have a stealing problem it hasn't been recent luckily I sell equipment and in the back I sell relics now in the back of my shop I have two trap doors right here with one with a chest to keep extra currency and supplies and our one's end chest just to transfer currency over here is the Advil to customize stuff or put stuff together for customers and blah blah blah. But I will have relics back there eventually. This is pretty much a complete shop. I just got to stock it up. I just haven't stocked it up yet. To continue over here, I'm also going to be revamping a lot of my old builds as I've already started. One revamp is the greenhouse, but I will be revamping this temple eventually. But this was the first little temple design for our beacon. But me and Vibes are going to be building a bigger temple and a better temple on top of the mountains behind our new area so me and vibes decided to step it up a little bit instead of having that puny little mountain house fuck the mountain houses we decided to do i decided to do my project i've always wanted to do and build a mansion but to the right right here a little detour if you guys don't have this achievement pull out your bows this is a little achievement right here just shoot it right in the middle and just shoot it a few times until it pops if you don't have the achievement but basically i kept this here because i was trying to get the achievement for pc what's the achievement uh, yeah i hit a bullseye yeah, hit the middle. But basically, I had to set up for anyone who doesn't have the achievement. Vibes will be setting up on the right-hand side over here. He is going to be building this spruce one section of the mansion while I have built the oak wood section. This is my half. This will be his half of the, of the mansion. We are basically divided into two halves, so we're not, you know, running into each other like last time. Well, and in, that, in the front of my yard, which once I take out this, te once I revamp this temple and the other add to mountain, and I take this one out. I'll be expanding my front yard, but for right now, this is my little yard. I have a bunch of little jack-o'-lanterns set up with, you know, it fucking vocally lost its texture pack over here. I was able to set up my name and my logo, which is fucking cool as shit to see in Minecraft. Feels like they featured me, dude. <laughs> what? Look at your feet. Look at your feet. Oh my god. You must pick it up. I have no inventory space. It's necessary. Alright, so we're gonna explore around. Well, actually, I'll go into the house first and then we'll explore around it. So, if you come into my house, I decided to do more of like a. I wanna say like a survivalist style look to the front entrance. You know, you just see like what's going on in the base all around. I just thought it looked a lot nicer. So, you can see the storage in the workroom. But you first come in, you're in my kitchen. My nice little kitchen. Got some pets sitting out here ready to eat. Just haven't fed them. It's choosing to starve on me um love them um anyway this is my work area this is pretty much where i have all my furnaces set up soon i'll have a little laboratory set up and this is the enchantment room this is where i'll be placing my enchantment table this is my library that this is what i'm going to add sugar cane for and if we come over to here we have my storage room so far i only have two floors and that, that's pretty much what I'm keeping to right now. I even have a shulker block box area to just throw random shulker boxes to start transferring stuff throughout the storage room. When I was first building that, I had to do that a lot. I had to transfer a lot of stuff around my storage room. So having a shulker box section in my storage room just made things ten times easier that's to all. place all of them. <sighs> Eric, you have enough potatoes at home. Was it me? <laughs> And if we come in here, Vibes has just placed his fucking storage in the middle of my uh, trophy room. But this is my trophy room. This is where I place all the collectibles and things I've collected on my journey so far throughout this world. I have a full set of every single armor set up, as you can see before your eyes, the dragon head. And then if you come up here, stairs are going to be a little fucked up at the third floor. But over here is, this is the pet room. This is where I'd be keeping all my pets. They're all going to have their own little section in the room, just like the farms out there. And as you see, I already started setting up to put carpet in and stuff. And this is my room. I have a few pets in here, too. And a nice little balcony to look out onto everything I built. Now we're going to continue upstairs to the attic, the final part of my house, the third story of the mansion. Oh, fuck. These stairs don't work on our ones. Did you put a potato in one of my storage cases? I know you have silk touch. So if you continue over here, I did a nice little glass design right here to transfer over in between both rooms. But this is the attic, essentially. So, and I was able to do a decent roofing design with the help of Nightshade Gaming. Shout out to him. Is there a gap in one of your windows? I know. I don't know who did that. I'll fix it later. I, I seen that a couple days ago. I just, set, just chose to fix it later. 
So if we, now if we come down, we're going to exit through the back area that Eric's flying through. And we come through my back door. We come into my back door, we come to my backyard. I have a nice little horse area over here. This is not really a horse stable. This is just a place horses to travel. Like when we're getting ready to travel, you know, just start getting all our shulker boxes. This is more of like a travel setup area. That's why I have like one random horse here. I don't know whose horse that is anyway. I'm going to have a pool over here. That's my plans for right here. And then over here is just another area that I have a bunch of shit set up. But once Vibes build his, I might be moving the achievement to over here into my yard. So if you come up up here, you can see what I turned my old fucking green, like uh, animal house into. I expanded it into a really big area to mass reduce and murder animals. I also have certain areas to close by mass reduce crops, so I don't always have to run to the greenhouse. It's just in my backyard since the kitchen is right there. And We're on peaceful, Eric! Oh my god. <laughs> we have to che I'm not fully finished with my farm area in the backyard, but pretty much this is where the cows will be and our area is where the chickens will be. And then I gotta make an area for pigs. It'll probably be another expanded out area over here for pigs. And then I gotta find an area for beetroots and carrots to grow. And sugar cane to grow so that we have every single crop and every single animal eventually i'll capture foxes and stuff and place them in little pens around here and design glassed in areas but to finish off the tour of my house because that's pretty much all i've done over here is the little fishing area you can come by here you can go out to the dock out there and fish or you can just sit here and fish from here and enjoy the view i'm going to be expanding this to the pretty much to pretty much wrap around to um, the other little light or post over there thing and keep the same design going around with a straight walkway to the curve. So, and if you come out here, I just have a little tree farm to the right. And if you follow down here, it just leads to the front of the house. It's just a little side passage with a nice little view of the, you know, a little bit of an ocean we have out there. But it's more of a swamp, but more of a view of the swamp. And I'm building a very big tree farm. Eventually, I'm going to put hoppers in the ground, so when I break this shit, it just falls into the hoppers, and I pick it all up in one chest. But that is pretty much done for my house. All right, so to continue the tour, I forgot to mention, we also had this little side-off piece where I was starting to build little individual farms near my house, so I had a quicker source of uh, stuff like that. I said I have to travel to the greenhouse every time in case I'm just trying to get something quickly for a build. So that's why I have little farms set up throughout my builds, just to have it, but I have it in reasonable areas at least. So we're going to take the final uh, way of the trail, and there is other builds, but they're not finished, so they're not too worth going and checking out, really. They're just outlines, nothing crazy, and it's just a lot of traveling to get to them right now. We don't really have a full-on trail leading to them, and it's a lot of nether portal tracks, but they only had the things done, I wouldn't want to show it off without them having it at least done. But we also forgot to explore Eric's little shop he has over here. It's my drug shop. You're not, wait, what drugs? You got weed? <laughs> I pulled your potato shop. Oh no, man, he's got fucking potatoes everywhere. Oh, that's okay. Shroom stems. Iron purse stems. He sells fucking shrooms. <laughs> the, oh my god. Yo, I'm the shop. I'm, I'm the, I'm the uh, cashier, bro. <laughs> like, like some mushrooms. Some mushrooms. You know his skin, like looking through like his helmet. He just looks like he's cracked down fucking shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, you been digging into the stash, boy. <laughs> yeah, yo, how, how much, how much, how much for gram? Cocaine. How much for gram? <laughs> oh. All right, to continue the to tour outside of uh, the shop. <laughs> Guys, it's Snipes here. We're gonna be having a nice tour of my lovely house, which I did pretty good on. Yeah, I like I it. I flew past it a few times and checked it out myself. There's already much here, to be honest. I might try. I can't wait to see your front yard and backyard designs and shit if you build this nice of a house. Like, there's, already, there's already really much in here, to be honest. I might add some things, but anyway, I have my, obviously, my lovely horse here. Oh boy. I have my room in there, which has a diamond and a bed. <laughs> he, What's of course my armor there? He treasures the diamond. I also have a beacon outside my house too. 
love really ass beacon. If you'd like to, if you'd like to follow my socials, I have my Instagram, fifteen dot silent underscore, my Twitch, donkey underscore dark, and my YouTube channel, which is V Snipes V. If you'd like to follow those. And that's really much my tour, to be honest. Alright. But just to say, we have all been working our asses off, the ones who are dedicated on this world. And we appreciate all the, you know, what's it called? Cool. We appreciate all the support that we've gotten from doing the streams and hopefully we'll get to it with the video. But we appreciate all the feedback and stuff. We've been working, trying our best to make good builds for you guys. I hope you guys liked the tour and like what we had to present to you. Shout out to everybody who was here with me today to help me do the tour. Appreciate both of you. Thank you guys yes. very much. Appreciate everyone that's been supporting yes, us. And all, thank you to all Ooh. the new followers on the Twitch. Appreciate all you guys. Welcome to the family. I hope to see you guys on future videos and future streams. If you want to see these videos before they're put out, they're most likely going to be streamed on Twitch first if I don't record them off my Elgato straight off. But this is the first video I record off my Elgato. Tell me if you guys can see the difference. Let me know. But as I said, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe. Please go follow my Twitch. Please go follow Danger. Go follow Snipes. Anything you guys want to say before we leave? Potato King. Potatoes. Potato, potato, potato. Potato. Peace out, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all. Peace. Potato.